Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. We've had one week off because we had Easter. I cannot do videos while all my kids are at home. It's impossible. <laughs> but we're back and today I've actually got quite a lot to do. But before we jump into that, please consider subscribing as we're bringing out new content all the time. And did you know I have over 180 videos out there? So, if you want to watch one of the others, I will try to link one in the iCards. So, first up, check out my earrings. My daughter got them for me because I love lemon. And she did a box up of all these little treats in for me. It was a real lovely surprise. So I had to wear my lemon earrings. Absolutely love them. Right, I've got a lot to get going today. But I'm going to be slow and methodical because I'm struggling. Chronic pain conditions slow you down some days. And today is one of those days. But anyway, let's get going. Okay, before I start, I've got a new bread maker. My one died. <laughs> Mind you, it has been a workhorse. I've had that one over 10 years, so I now have a new one. And we have 31 functions, and it was from Costco. Look fancy. I've got the actual pan out over there. So I thought I would show you that. I actually do recommend this bread maker. I've only used it once so far and it seems pretty good. It does what I need it to do. But I'm gonna quickly whip up some bread dough, put it in my pan, put it in my bread maker to do the kneading and then I'll put it on another cycle which will then do the proving for me. So it makes things easy. Right, we need two cups of warm water we need a packet of yeast, if I can get into it. I'm going to be having one of those today, that's fine. Okay, in there, there it goes. Into this, we're going to add one tablespoon of sugar. One tablespoon of olive oil, two teaspoons of salt, four and a half cups of a bread flour. Now, I have some freshy ground flour that I'm going to use up first, if I can get into it. That's roughly one, that would be roughly two, and that is a mixture of rye, wheat, and spelt. That's three. That's four, four and a half. Okay. Get this mixed up. Sometimes the best instruments are your hands. Okay. I'm going to transfer this dough. Right into there. I'm going to quickly rinse my hands off and we'll get that in the bread maker. Okay, as you can see that's in there. Number 30. Not be able to see it, but it does say bread kneading. That's the one we want. As you can see. 
that's kneading so I'm going to let that do its thing and clear up a little bit and then I will be back next up I've got my oven on we're going to make this this is what I got from uh, the web the online store called American Fizz and I'll try to link that video either in the iCards or the description box down below because we had an order from American Fizz and that was fun to see what, all what we got so I will try to remember to link that we've never used this we, we have no idea what this is like so this is a first time for us so it's always fun quarter cup of milk and an egg milk quarter cup I see 13 to 15 minutes so I'm going to make sure I've got my timer way before so we're going to set that on 13 just getting that bit ready And get those in the oven. Okay, I need to get some stock underway, and I've got a big bag of scrap bits. I'm going to start with another bag. A lot of onions, looks like an onion stock this will be. Those out of the way. Right. I've got some carrot. And then I've got a stalk off of a broccoli. So that's being slung in. Okay, and let's fill with that with some water. Okay, that will do. I think that's a bread maker done. That's going to have to wait just for a few seconds. Black peppercorns. In there. Some savoury. Some parsley. Time. Oregano and basil. You put whatever you want in. You need to put just a splash of apple cider vinegar in. That will do. Stick that on slow and that will go for the rest of the day and through till tomorrow okay i'm just going to stick that dough onto a prove cycle that's on a rise cycle i've got two minutes 30 left for the muffins okay next up oreo cookies and cream pudding no idea never used it just sounded good so let's see what do we have to do again we don't get things like this in this country at all this is again this is from the American one two cups of cold milk all right
Those apple muffins smell absolutely divine. Okay, put that into there. Gonna, before I start that pudding, I will get out those cakes first. They smell really good. Ouch. Okay, back to our pudding. Lovely. Oops, making a mess. That's a surprise. Not. That feels like it's starting to set up. Right, I'm going to call that good there. And what I'm going to do is I will put that into the fridge. And that will be that bit done. My kids can enjoy that tonight. I will say to all the Americans out there. I am jealous of your food. I really am. <laughs> I am so jealous of your food. We tried the other day the stovetop turkey stuffing. Now our stuffing is nothing like what you've got. My kids after one mouthful was saying, Mum, you have to order this again and double it. Now, considering I have fussy eaters, that's not bad going. So, I am jealous of my American friends. <laughs> really am. Your food is absolutely divine and so flavourful. So, I'm going to get this in the fridge. And then I will be back with something else. Okay, I've also been doing dehydrating this last week. This is some peas that come out of the dehydrator, I think it was yesterday. And they were, I bought fresh from Tesco's. They were in the reduced ones, so I put them straight on the dehydrator when I come in from shopping. And here they are. Shelf stable, I'm ready to go in any soups and stews when I'm ready. And they will be good in that jar between six, six to 12 months. But I'll probably go through it way before then. But it's good. This one, I've got three apple vinegars here. There's four in total, but only three only three apple ones. So, one, two, that's the third apple one. And this one is a ginger vinegar. I didn't know whether it would work. It smells like it's working. Oh yeah, that's working. That one's going to be quite nice actually. <laughs> so, done all the peelings of the ginger. So, the first time I've ever done ginger one. 
There we are. The bread out of the oven, ready to start cooling down. Okay guys, that's it for this vlog. If you like this video, please give it the big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, that way you will not miss a video. So until next time all, bye!